Hello everyone, welcome back to Lens Homestead. Got my drill, a holster, got my rig. Massey version, GC 20, uh, 1723E. I've been working to death. I'm only probably about, let's see. I got exactly 100 hours on this tractor. And I haven't had any problems with it at all. Uh, the man lift basket, awesome. It's the only thing I've been using to get me up on this roof. Now, yesterday I was trying to put a, um, a rake on. Um, I couldn't use this other than to get on the roof. I kept sliding off the roof. No traction. Nothing. It's like being on wet and you're on a roof like this. It's this steep. Now, the other three corners. I can use this thing. I got the rope. So this will get me with the ladder extended out about 12 feet. It will get me up the roof line. So I already got the rakes, two of them made up. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that thing up on the roof. Let's see how it goes. So this is what we're using. I know there's towels wrapped around the ladder. But there is a reason for it. That's metal, and metal on metal means tear, and what tear means tear means rust. Right now I got about eleven hundred dollars in this part of the roof, and I'm not even done putting it up yet. So as you see what I have here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna line the tractor up. And uh, get it up in the air. I got to go up there and remove a few screws, and then I'll bring the ridge cap out. Safety first. Someone says, you should wear a harness. I go, hmm, how am I going to use a harness? This thing spins around on me. Ah, well, I'm up there. 
handle finder. I put the tractor up on the ramp trying to level this thing off because everything is at an angle. So, my most own favorite part is climbing. But, sometimes we have to do things we don't like. Without this ladder, there ain't no way I could do this. So the screws I gotta remove. These on the end. So while I'm up here, let's get my angle finder out. Boy, talk about feeling your heart rate. Save your screws, save your washer. Because we'll be using them again. This holster I bought, I've had it for years. First time I actually used it. Cheap piece of plastic. You can adjust it. The bad thing is this impact don't fit very well. That's a force today. This is day five working on this roof. Four of those days was over 102. I had a couple of them. Actually, let's see what. I had 102. Wow, that looks like bad. 102. 104. 106. 108 degrees. I lost a lot of weight. I'm quite dark. But that's okay. Either way, this job has to get done. Like I say, wrapping the ladder where it uh, flexes with towels. Yeah, I might make it move around a little bit. That's okay. But uh, I don't want it to damage my new roof. Yeah, I know. I dropped the screw. What else is new? The 
If I would have videotaped what I was doing yesterday, it would have been a lot of bleak because I was giving this roof the finger. All right, now I gotta kind of rotate around. Trust me, it's not dropping anything. And we get to come down. I can get my screw. I'm going to show you this thing I made up. Find it easier instead of taking this rope off this easy. Alright. Let's Okay guys, here's my 10 foot trim, brake, all works the same. You see how it's shaped. Already made the cut back an inch. Used a pair of special uh, pliers. It's what they use for welding sheet metal. Look like the same tool these metal workers are using. So what we're gonna do, we're going to get you up on the roof here. Well, not on the roof, but show the roof. Okay. Screws I just took out. It's what I'm putting back. The, uh... Pop this thing up here. I shortened my ladder a little bit so it's a little easier to climb it. So, oh, first thing first, belt. I had to raise the loader. So you, those of you that have loaders, I don't know, do you ever have it to where it leaks down? It's annoying. It's like 10, 15 minutes. I know it's because it gets so hot out here, but it keeps blowing down. All right. Got the aqua. One more time. I think it would be no fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this a little different. Let me get up on the roof here. I'm going to have to start the top and work my way down. Way up. Look at that, I haven't even started anything I already cut by hand. Well, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. Just have to use my foot. Amazing enough. Looks good. So 
don't know how I got the hole in my hand, but okay. Story of my life. Always a screw falling down. I'm going to have to get that before I go up to the top because I don't have any extra screws. Whew. Hey guys, forget the gym. Do roping for a living. I don't see how these guys do it. I think I'm going to grab me a couple extra screws. Where the one I just dropped? I want extra screws. I don't want any any wind catching this roof and taking it. I think that's why I use so many screws. I don't want this thing to I don't want this thing to blow away. A lot of these people I see doing roofs, they don't put enough screws in it. I wonder why it blows away. What I expect, I don't want that to happen. <sighs> I think we're gonna put that top one in. I don't want to be at least a foot away from the top because I'm going to overlap it. And I will actually put it over here. I need to cover up this hole. You guys don't have, have a clue how hot it is. This roof generates so much heat. And it's not comfortable on this ladder. Alright. Now we're going to add two screws down here. I say, we get a lot of wind here. I don't want this thing coming off because if it gets underneath here, it could chance rip the roof right off. One more, and yeah, I'm going to call it. I'll call a 15 minute break. That's a, that's a wrap for this time. So out there, get down. We'll see what it looks like from the side profile. It does look different. It wasn't what I was looking for when I was looking at rakes. But um, it's different. Get this thing off because I know it's going to leak. 
Let me uh, get you moved here. That's what it's going to look like. I'll have to make a piece. They'll have to fold over the top and go on. I didn't do that with the other side because I didn't know. But any, anyways, that's it for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I just want to show you how it's going. Uh, I hope to finish this today by this evening. Because the weekend, I'm going to be down. I'm going to be down and uh, This is the fifth day. The fifth day of putting that up. Just on the one side. That's not included what I had to do on the other side. So, if you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you here next time on Lynn's Homestead. You have a great day.